Tonight's first period on Comcast Sports that is brought to you by your local Chevy dealers. And by Papa John's. The day after every Flyers win, get 50% off your online order at papajohns.com using promo code FLYERS. And welcome back to South Florida. The Flyers on the road taking on the Florida Panthers. And it gives us an opportunity to take a look at our Kia starting goaltenders for this one. Steve Mason of the Flyers pretty well established himself as the number one guy. And he is red hot. He will be back between the pipes for the Flyers. And Tim Thomas has established his game as well with Florida starting the last eight games. So tonight it's Steve Mason against Tim Thomas. South Florida, scene of the first road game for the Flyers in a stretch. We'll see they play 16 of their next 21 away from home, but they're playing in a building where they have had a lot of success. 18-8-1 all-time inside the walls of the building they now call the BB&T Center. Well, the last time we saw Tim Thomas, he limped to the bench and went up the chute and never came back. That was the fourth game of the season when the Flyers got their first win at home. It was a two-to-one victory against Tim Thomas and the Panthers. He has played very well of late for this Panthers team, though, with the eight consecutive starts. This is number nine in a row. And, of course, Steve Mason has been a rock and especially has enjoyed his time against the Panthers in his career. That 5-0 record and 1-1-7 goals against average. So he gets set to start this one. Take four, check. We'll be out on the ice with his usual line mates, Claude Giroux and Scott Hartnell. And they'll go up against the relatively young trio for the uh, Panthers, centered by a guy the Flyers are getting their first look at here tonight, Nick Bukestad. And he's a big center, and a lot of teams try to match size down the middle against Claude Giroux when they can. And we're underway. There is Bukestad, number 27. He's checked the Flyers in their white jerseys, home reds. For the Panthers, we begin a five-game homestand here tonight. Fire combinations at the top of your screen as Tom Gilbert keeps that puck in the zone. But right to Braden Coburn, who had a little difficulty clearing, but does finally jab it out to the neutral zone before Gilbert hoists it right back in. And the teams go for their first line change of the evening. And the puck through center to Matt Reed. Just taken into the boards by Gabranson. And then a big hit on Reed, delivered by Dylan Olsen in his first game as a Panther. And Florida moves back the other way as you get a look at their combinations at the top of the screen. Mason the save on that offering from former Flyer Scotty Upshaw. The puck to the corner boards. And now it's Alexander Barkov, the 18-year-old. Worked on by Couturier. And Sean Couturier picks his pocket. Nice. And he'll move up. Couturier finally found a player he's older than. <laughs> he taught him a lesson. He's not bigger than him, though. <laughs> no, Barkov's a big kid, but that was beautiful by... Sean Couturier not only containing Barkov but then leaving by himself with the puck. You mentioned that fourth game of the season when the Flyers beat Florida. That happened to be Craig Berube's first game behind the bench and boy things changed in Florida as well because Kevin Deneen was the head coach for the Florida Panthers and he is now gone. Well, Peter Horacek taking over. Craig Berube has that record that you saw well over 500 now and the team really going in the right direction but Talk to him. He sounds like a coach. We still have a long way to go in terms of our overall game before we get where we want to be. The only time you see a satisfied coach is when he's sitting by the cup on the float <laughs> during the parade. <laughs> there you go. And even then, he's thinking about the next season no already. No There's doubt. a pass in front, Braden Shen. LeCavier looking for it, but knocked away. And the Panthers move back. And Sean Bergenheim will move in across the Philadelphia line. His shot smothered by Luke Shen, who then finishes Bergenheim. Marcel Gotch will fling it around to the other side. Mike Weaver. Back in the lineup for the Panthers after missing four games with the flu. Tried to set her. It was knocked down. Weaver does keep it in the zone to Bergenheim. Down along the wall now. Bergenheim looking for the return feed from Scott Gomez. And now the pass to Campbell, who finds room and fires, but it's blocked. And the Flyers get to the puck, and Eric Gustafson will circle, get himself some space. And the Panthers pull back on a line change, allowing Luke Shen time to move up. This is Adam Hall with that pass. The puck down into the Florida zone. Gilbert will handle it and then turn it over. Quick shot by Ronaldo. Went off the outside of the net. And Campbell has it back. 
Tied for the points leadership for the Panthers, but deflecting to Chris Barch. Barch trying to center that one, but uh, it was tipped away, and now the Flyers looking to clear. Ronaldo checked, but Grossman has it, and the Flyers will move up. Some awesome back-checking by the Flyers. That started out as a two-on-two -two rush for Florida and ended up a two-on-four because of guys coming back for the Flyers. They're doing a lot of pinching. You're going to watch the Florida Panthers. They're going to come at you. They're going to be forechecking hard, and the defense have been given the green light to pinch anytime they want. So you're going to see a lot. You saw Weaver do it on the last opportunity. Oh, here's a turnover right in front. The Fleischman is pass blocked by Strike. So Strike with a turnover, and then he makes up for it with a great play to knock down that pass. And the Flyers live to tell about that turnover. <laughs> That's called being obligated on the block. <laughs> a little extra motivation when you're trying to erase your own mistake. There's a Point shot by Olsen, but that was going wide. Snared by Mason. He'll hang right on to it as we look at the players not in the lineups tonight. Our virtuous scratches. Same three for the Flyers for the last eight games. Same three players have sat, and they've had the same lines and defense pairs. You see the guys out for the Panthers, including Thomas Kopetsky, who's out with a hand injury. All right, Thomas Fleischman, if he gets that puck across, the Florida Panthers have a point-blank chance. Well, Mark Streit, after giving it away, took it away. There's Matt Reed for Philadelphia, turning with the puck. And get it to Coburn. Coburn could not get that one ahead to Couturier. He's able to knock down a Panthers pass, and they're offside as Barkov moves back in across the line. There's a look at Peter Horacek, who... Uh, Local hockey fans may remember one year as head coach of the Trenton Titans of the ECHL. Yeah, he's done a good job uh, in his career and is absolutely a career coach. And the Florida Panthers are home after a five-game road trip. They got five points on the road. So, you know that old deal about you never know how the team's going to react when they come home. We'll see what the Florida Panthers have. I think they've started pretty sharply here. Well, he said it was all mental when he would talk to him this morning. He said, I... Nobody ever understands why the teams don't play well after a big road trip, but he said he was going to do everything good to change it. Campbell dumped the puck into the Philadelphia zone. Grossman back. Right up the wall with it. Campbell's in from the point. Puck bounces high in the air off the outside of the net. Now Strike is there. Mark Strike making his way towards center. Flipped it to the red line. Campbell knocks it down there. And Campbell, now 34 years of age, can still fly. Gets the puck to Huberto. His angle shot denied by Mason. And the Flyers will move up. Braden Shen gets the red line, chips it, it's knocked down. He tries to get it back. And now play is called. Puck was hit with a high stick. Braden Shen, who has 14 points this year, has a point of game pace going over his last seven. And he's cooled off just a little bit, but that's what happens during a season on a hockey team is that guys will get hot and then cool. And as Braden Shen cooled off, at least in his point production, Matt Reed has picked it up, Claude Giroux has picked it up, so as long as you have some people scoring, the Flyers for the first 10 games of the season were looking for anybody to score. Now they have scoring balance. Indeed, as Wayne Simmons on Shen's line has been doing the scoring here of late. Panthers get the puck into the Philadelphia zone. Luke Shen able to knock it ahead. Simmons, though, was checked. And the Panthers get to it. The veteran Gomez will swing it around to the other side of the ice. Sean Bergenheim chasing after. Dropped it off, but LeCavalier read that. Nearly had that one deflect out in front of his own net. But Luke Shen was there to rescue. And now Simmons to LeCavalier. Ahead for Braden Shen. Couldn't hang on to that puck, but carrying on is Simmons. Simmons bumped, knocked down. And the puck taken by Gabranson. He's checked, though, and Braden Shen gets it back. Quick pass. LeCavalier in front for Simmons. Old fire save made by Thomas as he was lying on his stomach. And that is how he tends to make saves no sometimes. Kidding. He's unorthodox, but he usually somehow finds a way. That may have hit him in the mask. Here's Le Cavalier moving in. Tried to set it. That goes off a stick high in the air and out of play across ice. Boy, what a great passing combo here. Wayne Simmons tried to move through his skates a couple of times and lost it both times, but then there was pressure from both Vinny Le Cavalier and Braden Shen. Let's see what Tim Thomas does on this play. <laughs> well, do you know what happened there is that Simmons gets hooked right at the last second as he was about to take the shot. So now Thomas is already down to make that save, and he got a little lucky as he just continued across the goal crease area, and Simmons finally got the shot on net, but Thomas was there accidentally. 
Ronaldo just horse collar taken down, getting it across the Florida line. No call, and then Thomas decides to cover up. Well, Flyers are on the attack now. Yeah, there's no question there was a hand, a stick in the hands. Oh, I hit him in the shoulder. That's where Thomas made the save. But gosh, how do you not call this? When the stick is parallel to the ice and you've got a guy's hands, you know, hooked, that's an automatic. Yeah, that last play as Ronaldo went down. Jack has not been able to draw the penalties here early this season as he was last year. No oh, it hasn't been his fault. Yeah, no, no love no exactly. Love. Coburn back takes a hit, but the Panthers get the puck, but Gilbert couldn't hang on, and now the other way goes Voracek. Jake will just roll that one in around behind. Hartmann back to Voracek, but he could not hang on to the puck. Upshaw takes it away. Coburn could not keep it in as Barkov was able to jab it past him. Giroux back to play it across. And now Ivo Tivadin to Voracek, and now Giroux had trouble hanging on to that pass. Panthers changing. Six minutes in, glad you could join us on Comcast Sportsnet. Flyers and Panthers, no score here. Each team with two shots on goal. There's a steal by Reed. Reed ahead for Downey, tucks it deep into the Florida zone. Campbell is back for it. Couturier gets to him, the puck to Downey. Downey trying to find Reed, but it was batted down. As this line goes to work, as they so often do in the fourth check, but unable to come up with it this time, and it's Uberdeau the other way. Uberdeau to cross the line, it's an onside play. The backhand of abuse that is blocked, and now the pass the other way. Downey trying to break, leaves it off for Couturier. Couturier has the inside-outside maneuver, then tried to center, Ooh. makes its way in front. Reed was there, as was Downey, but they could not get it in on goal, and now the other way, rumbling back. Is Gabranson. He's going to pitch it into the Philadelphia zone and go get it himself, the defenseman. For Gomez, his pass tipped, but Gotch able to tuck it down low. And now the Flyers will track the puck down. What a different player Sean Couturier is. Early in the season, he just would have stopped and looked for somebody to dish off to. Now he's taking people on one-on-one -on -one and doing well with it. There's the outlet. Gustafson to Downey, and he'll send it off of Thomas to the corner. Gabranson back for it. We'll go across to Dylan Olsen, 22 years of age, came over from the Blackhawks in the Christopher Stieg trade. Got it ahead to Gomez, his cross-ice pass, missed connections, and now Simmons gathers for Philadelphia. The Flyers have the puck right back and will maneuver up. A lot of quick shifts for the Panthers. They're changing again. Simmons floats that one in, gloved by Thomas, and play is stopped. No score early on. Time for our Quinn University University game notes. A lot going on, some of it right here. Roger Nielsen being honored here in South Florida. Steve Downey has been dishing out the helpers, and the Flyers have some young guys playing well. Uh, Roger Nielsen was not only an incredible person, but a spectacular hockey mind. And you can see the Roger Nielsen Memorial Press Box, named for Roger Nielsen. It's just this afternoon, in fact. Steve Downey brings toughness, grit, but also great vision, and he has been uh, busy with the assists. Uh, here as uh, a flyer. In fact, if you count his numbers from Colorado, he's tied for team leadership. The Caballera shot here saved Thomas. The rebound played by Kulikov. Ahead and up Sean a second try. Got it to center. Barkov and poking it ahead. The Rad Boys for Upshaw with fanned on it. And now it's dumped in along the wall by Weaver. There's Barkov, youngest player in the NHL to start this season. He just turned 18 before the season started. Upshaw from the angle had that one deflect behind the net. Boys trying to get away from Coburn. Got it to Barkov, who tosses it to the other side of the ice. Upshaw will beat Shen to the puck, but then lose it. Shen takes it away from him and flutters it out to center. Simmons will put it down with his glove play with his stick into the Florida zone, and the Flyers will change. Kulikov will settle things here. Kulikov seems like he's been around forever, but he's still only 23 years of age. Weaver will send it up off the stick of Fleischman deep into the Philadelphia zone. Mason will let the Flyers play that puck strike, but it's a turnover, and the deflection by Uberdo is knocked aside by Mason. Puck up the wall. Branson will just fire it across ice. There's Fleischman around behind the net. Bukestad wrapped up. Downey had to let him go. It would have been a penalty. Gabranson shot his block. And there goes Reed the other way. Reed trying to pull away, but Gabranson did not let him. And a diving play knocked the puck away. Boy, the big defenseman, 6'5", 210, showed some mobility there. He might not have the best quickness in the world, but when you get him an all-out end-to-end race, his long legs did him justice. 
That's stride. I mean, to be able to catch up, you're facing one way, and you got a guy like Matt Reed going the other and still catches him. Adam Hall works that puck free to Rosehill. He was then quickly checked. Now, Ronaldo knocks a man down in front, but the Panthers are able to clear out to the neutral zone. Luke Shen will go across. Eric Gustafson all the way across to Ronaldo, and he's going to skate it to the middle and then lose control. And Hall will send it in. I just want to keep it simple. Especially that fourth line. They do get it in eventually, but now it's Chris Barks the other way. Known for his toughness. Drew took a nosedive in center ice. The play goes offside at the Philadelphia line. Well, Matt Reed's instincts defensively are as good as his offensive instincts. And Gabranson's reach is as good as Matt Reed wants to see in this game. Good block by Reed. Good recovery by Gabranson. That's a great recovery. And the one thing that's very important, we got to explain that, you know, he got the stick out and took that puck off without knocking Reed over. If you don't get the puck, then it's a tripping call. But Gabranson did a great job. Branson wants the third overall pick in the draft. There's Giroux moving in. Tips it into the corner. Hartnell pursuing. Running into plenty of interference from the Panthers who cleared all the way down the ice. And this will be icing against Florida. Face off back near Tim Thomas. Well, the Santa Sacks are back. And guess what? The pucks are all autographed and getting stuffed into the bags as we speak. The Sacks includes tickets to a Flyers game of your choice. Tickets to the Adirondack Phantoms games in Philly. A 2014 calendar. Whole bunch more. Just call now for your sack. Never know who's John Hancock you might have on a puck. That puck hung on to by Thomas. Time has been called. No score. Middle portion of period number one. Earlier with our Gwinnett Mercer University notes, as you look at some of the Flyer fans in attendance here, we mentioned a couple of the Flyer prospects performing well, and here they are. Shane Gostisbehere, defenseman, playing at Union College, drafted back in 2012. And Scott Lawton, who has been tearing up the OHL, of course, was in camp and actually began for a couple days at least, the season with the Flyers. Both improving as they move along and... Uh, yeah, it'll be Flyers probably one day. Was a loose puck jammed away from Thomas by Hartnell right at the side of the cage. Warcheck now steals but couldn't get it past Upshaw. And the Panthers have it back. Both teams have been guilty of some turnovers in their own zone. Haven't been able to take advantage as yet. As this remains scoreless, past the midpoint of this first period. First but add to Giroux. Giroux is checked so they just bank it to the Florida zone. Flyers looking to complete a change. And Olsen has it. Ahead, Duke Stett, around down, in across the line, then settles, spins, worked on by Strike. Duke Stett just keeps pushing that puck along, and now it's rolled back out to the point for Branson. Across to Olsen, and then right back in along the boards. Uberdo in there, Duke Stett knocked down by Strike. Puck squirts free, Strike had his legs tied up from his stomach, tried to push it, but turned it over. Weissman's centering pass was intercepted, and now Tiemann to Downey who just backhands to the neutral zone. It appeared, that, it appeared that Bustad actually hurt his leg when he was down there, Jimmy, behind the net. He is gone to the bench as Reed steals the puck for Philadelphia but played it up into the crowd and so play halted. Well, get Philly sports news and scores when you're on the go. Be the first to know the latest on all of your Philly teams right from your smartphone. Download the free CSN Philly sports app now. Right here, you're going to see everybody tied up. Mark Streit doing a great job, and Bustead's down, and he's going to get up after that, and he was favoring his left leg. Well, those are dangerous plays, Coach. See, you, you know that as well. When you're on your knees and you stretch one of your legs straight out in one of those piles, anybody puts any kind of pressure on it, you can damage your knee. Look out here, a shot by Gotch, save made by Mason. And Gomez gets to it. His pass to Bergenheim. Down low. Got shot. Save Mason. Steve Mason with his toughest save of the night thus far. Right there as the Panthers buzzing some. The Flyers will relieve pressure and clear it all the way down. But this will be icing. It's all about positioning for Steve Mason. I mean, he never 
simply never overreacts to any kind of shot, even if it's a surprise one. And as a result, he's square and in the middle of his net. He does a great job of staying with it because Gauthier would assume it would have gone by and kept going to try to get a better angle. But he let it go immediately, trying to catch Mason, but Mason did not go for it. 960 save percentage against the Panthers in his career. We asked goaltender coach Jeff Reese, what's the one key to the fact that Steve Mason's played so well as a flyer? And he says, has somebody believe in him? And uh, you can tell Steve Mason has confidence now, and he looks like the goaltender, maybe even better than the goaltender that won the Calder Trophy as a rookie. Yeah, his positioning is so terrific. His patience, standing on his feet as long as he can before he has to drop down on the butterfly. As Jeff Reese told, Reese told us as well, when, when all else fails, he can certainly rely on his athleticism. When he's warming up down before the game, what he does is he bounces the ball off the wall and just catches it, just keeps doing it, one after another after another. Downey is stripped to the puck at the Florida line. It's Uberdo. A flash of youngster moving the other way. Turns with the puck, shuffles it in along, hoping for Bugstad, who apparently is okay. And the Flyers get the puck back, but again, they have a little difficulty moving up. Reed does reach back and clear the zone, but the Flyers have been sloppy with the puck at their own blue line and in the neutral zone. And uh, they look to tell about it so far. One tough down by the goaltender. And now boys will play it back. You want to jump on this Florida team? They have had yep. all kinds of problems in the early portions of hockey games. I think the way to get it back when you know that your passing game has the jitters the way it looks for Philadelphia is get the puck to center, get it in, establish a four-checking game, and then let the game kind of come back to you with nice passes when you're ready for it. From the B, B, and T center. Fourth name for this building. With our great crew, happy to be along with you as this holiday week has begun. Flyers will play in Tampa on Wednesday, and then the Black Friday, I guess it's not even a matinee if it's a morning game, is it? I don't know. Against Winnipeg at home as Mason will hang on to that puck. I liked your comment the other day, calling it a brunch game, is right in front of me, got Matthias at all, and then over here to my right, Rose Hill. Yeah, Chris Barch, and this guy can throw, oh. and so can Rozo. He got Rozo on the right, but now Rozo back with some rights of his own. Connecting with some of those rights, an uppercut caught him as well, and it's Jay Rozo just throwing. Now Barch comes back. I think Barch was stunned there. He seemed to not throw punches for a little bit, but now he's coming back. Both helmets now off as they continue to trade, and they are probably done now. A lot of red faces right there. Redness on the faces, I should say, as some of those punches connected. Rose Hill and Barch will take a seat. Well deserved, five minutes each. Boy, oh boy, did they ever earn that. Looks like Barch might have caught Rose Hill with an uppercut right near the end when Rose Hill was switching to his left hand. So Adam Hall is the guy right at the blue line that tagged Chris Barch. And he ended up with Matthias, and then all of a sudden you got Barch and Rosell, and I tell you what, we've seen some good fights from this kid, Ro Rosell. I mean, he can really fire him. He doesn't waste any time, and Barch seemed to stop there, Billy, for a little bit. It's pretty kind of it was an interesting fight because Barch had part of his grip holding the chin strap and the strap near Jay Rosell's ear on his helmet. Lord Dwyer and Tim Peel are your referees. Barch is getting the extra penalties here. We'll tell you about it in just a second. Peter Horchek not happy with the call, wants an explanation. Our Dodge trivia question for tonight's game. Who recorded the most recent penalty shot goal in Flyers history versus Florida on November the 13th, 2011? Was it Matt Reed, Danny Briere, or Max Talbot? The current Flyer or one of the two former Flyers? Oh. Was the penalty instigation? I could not hear the announcement. Instigation. There's a turnover by Mason, though, and he makes up for it by sweeping the puck away from Marcel Gotch. Gotch had a hold of, or I should say, Timonen had a hold of Gotch right there, got away with it. Flyers looking to get this power play organized. Here is Giroux and across the line. He'll punch it deep. There are the overall numbers in the season for the 
respective units here. The Flyers on a good run with power play goals in six consecutive games. Seven for 22 over that stretch. Panthers penalty killed down near the bottom. This is a unit the Flyers want to take advantage of. Almost halfway through this bad advantage already. There's Vortex stopping and then firing it across. In front, Simmons, he jammed it wide. He didn't get that one where he wanted to. Now it's Giroux, and he could not get to that puck. Branson again using that reach of his, and he jammed it down the ice. Wow, what a play by Claude Giroux, though. Beautiful. He comes with that slingshot, so when he has the opportunity to come late, he's got to read. And the Panthers seemed to really pressure him at the red line, so he did read it, and that's how they got the puck into the zone, because he did the right thing. Now Matt Reed starting up. Reed swerving in, dropped it off. A big hit on Braden Shen as he got the puck deep. McCallier knocks it down, swung it back to Strike. Strike right back to Vinny. McCallier to the hash marks, now holding on. Back out, Strike. Center point has a double screen set up, decides to deal to Reed. Back to Strike for the shot. Save Thomas through the screen of Shen, and it's cleared all the way down. That's the play the Flyers have to make and the shot that Strike has to take. McCallier in again to Downey as the power play comes to an end. Downey back out Coburn. That shot off the glove of Thomas all the way out. See that? He shook sure. his head like, wow, what? I mean, even, even Thomas looked like he was baffled by the rebound nope. that he gave. Shen misses the puck here. Barkov shut off of Mason and then the glass. And yeah, now Uberto trying to use the back of the net, but the Flyers take the puck away. Grossman to Downey. Downey in heavy traffic. Somehow maneuvers through it. He got the puck pretty deep. In fact, very deep into that Florida zone. Three and a half minutes remaining in a scoreless first period. That's a plus for this Panthers team. Because out the year they're minus 12 in the first period. They turn it over here. But play is stopped. As it hits something on the Philadelphia bench. We'll be back. No score here in South Florida between the Flyers and Panthers with 3.20 remaining in the first period. 7-6 the shots in favor of Florida as Claude Giroux and the Flyers trying to find a way to get on top in this game. There are the strong numbers for the Flyers here in this building. You mentioned their overall numbers in this building are good, but here especially of late, they've won five straight here. I like Later, Steve Mason's numbers too, Jimmy. Yeah, we've talked about that. And the last time the Flyers were here, the only time they visited last season, they got the hat trick from Matt Reed and cruised to a big win. Have been able to cruise thus far. The Panthers, pesky here early. Now Marcel Gotch to Bergenheim. His pass back intercepted by Timonen. Gomez over to get to it. His pass smothered by Couturier, who takes it back behind his own net. And hands off to Braden Coburn, who will start up. Big, long strides of his. Coburn through the red line and in. Flyers will change as Weaver misses Kulikov with that pass. Ronaldo will steal, try to go across ice, but it was knocked down. Here's Uberdo. Battling a rolling puck, he's got it now. His pass to Fleischman, right back to Uberdo. Uberdo, and that one go off of Gilbert to the neutral zone. Campbell back to Gilbert. Dukestad couldn't find the puck. Flyers get it. Here's Voracek. Voracek pushing it past Campbell. I know we'll drop it back to Voracek. He's got Giroux in front. There he is. Shot. Thomas the save. And Thomas. Big stop there to keep this game scoreless. Now the Panthers will dump it in and change again. A lot of line changes here in this first period. Giroux in the middle. Hartnell the shot and the save made. By Thomas. Simmons around behind. That one got past Giroux. It's kept in by Grossman, but bounces past Hartnell. And the Flyers will have to go back and retrieve as Mark Streit does just that. Puts it around the boards. That's almost intercepted by Barkov, but got through him. And Simmons pass hit a body and bounces back into the Philadelphia zone. Florida Panthers do a really good job of keeping the middle of the ice controlled. Most of the time when the Flyers have tried passes into the middle, a Florida player has been there. Flyers are offside on this particular dump in. Now they've retouched, so we play on. And here's Olsen. Going into the Philadelphia zone. Timonen takes a look and then could not get it past Brad Boys. Now he'll try the other side of the ice. Strite has it. Turns with it. 
And flips it ahead. He's got Simmons. Simmons will push it into the zone. He'll chase himself. Lance in there. Now the Cavalier. Neil Cavalier will have a big night on Wednesday when he returns to Tampa. It's tied up here by Olsen. Good Branson and Simmons battle. Now who will win the battle? Up comes Chris Simmons. Got knocked down. Gets back up. Plays the puck to Shen. Off for Coburn. Coburn wrist shot. Save Thomas. And he's got it in the glove. Good work along the wall. Leads to a scoring chance. Well, the holiday season is officially here, and what better way to celebrate than a suite at a Flyers game? How about this? You can invite 12, you can invite 40. How about 80 guests? And get an autographed Flyers puck to give to each one. Just call 215-389-9500 to book your premium holiday party now. Live large. Holidays are here. The draw here will be to the left of Thomas. In just 30 seconds remaining. Gilbert will get to Campbell. And Florida has it. Matthias diagonally into the Philadelphia zone. Teaming in back in front of Gomez. For Coburn and up the wall. But it's kept in by Campbell who fires wide. And now teaming into it. They just chip it to center. Gotch knocks that one down and pumps it back into Philadelphia. His final 10 seconds now this first period. Coburn hanging right on to it. There's no reason to move the puck. There's no way it's going after him. And... The first period comes to an end. Flyers with nine shots, the Panthers with seven. But the goaltenders had all the answers here in period number one. Mason and Thomas stop all pucks, fire their way. No score through 20 minutes. Tonight's Flyers-Panthers first period was brought to you by Mazda. We believe if it's not worth driving, it's not worth building. By Power Back Rehabilitation. And by Supercuts. Check out Supercuts.com to find a convenient salon location near you. Rock the cuts at Supercuts. Tonight's second period from BNT Center is brought to you by your local Delaware Valley Audi dealers and legendary Audi Quattro all-wheel drive, the world's top-selling luxury all-wheel drive system. Also brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes can save you 15% on car insurance. Visit us at GEICO.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO. Fisticuffs, but no goals in period number one between the Flyers and the Panthers. Here are the Sugar House Casino statistics. That was a pretty conservative period by both the Flyers and the Florida Panthers. Not that many shots. A few good scoring chances. Tim Thomas had to be dynamic on a close-in save on Claude Giroux, and Steve Mason was tested more than once. But by and large, I would say that defense trumped offense in that first period. Before we start the second period, time for our NHL GMC update. We go to Boston, top two teams in the Eastern Conference having at it. Willie Erickson on his way in to score to give the Bruins a 1-0 lead over the Penguins. On the power play, Riley Smith would make it 2-0 Boston right there. And the Bruins out to an early lead. James Neal cut into that lead with his fifth of the season. 2-1 in the first Boston over Pittsburgh as we take a look at Twitter. What, you, what jumps out at you there, Bill? <laughs> uh, let me see. There you go. Jaws. There Jaws, you go. Jaws, positive thinking. Thinks the Flyers will be in first place by the end of 2013. What jumps out at me even before that was the Bruins-Penguins game. Something has to give in that game because the Penguins have won seven consecutive regular season games against the Boston Bruins, and the Bruins are 7-1-2 and two in their last 10. And... Uh, the Bruins got off to the good start, as we showed you, but Penguins have fought back. Bruins have been playing very good hockey here in the month of November. In fact, the Flyers and Bruins, the two best teams in the East, that's 7-2-2 two two in November. Look out here, bouncing puck right into toward the net. And it stays out. That player offended in there is a penalty. Gomez 
with the takedown. As uh, Bo Giroux went down in a heap. And so the Flyers will get their second power play. Well, Steve Mason had to have lost sight of this puck, but he had good help crowded around him. See the Flyers trying to outnumber the Panthers? And they did. Everybody came back to the house, and Scott Gomez got his stick in the exact wrong place. I love the positioning there of Mason because he doesn't have any idea where that puck is. So he's going to be technically strong. He's going to get his pads in the right spot, get down into the butterfly, take the whole bottom of the net away. Another opportunity on the power play for the Flyers. And they're second of the game. Panthers without one thus far. First dude it out. Drew got the puck back. Hartnell will take it. Hartnell back for Timonen. Now Timonen dishes to Giroux. Simmons and Hartnell head in front. Giroux waiting. Or check. Down the back door. Here's Simmons holding, firing. St. Thomas rebound. He was able to fight it off. Back to Giroux. To Timonen for the shot. And that one bounces high off the glass and all the way out. And now a break the other way. Matthias with the puck. Matthias winds it. Fires. Save Mason. And now numbers the other way for the Flyers if they hurry. Here is Hartnell with it. Right wing feed, Boracek. Boracek to Simmons. Simmons, a pass down low! They could not finish it. Hartnell was all alone, and somehow it stays out. Boy, you got to love the passing. It's right in front of me. And that puck's going to come right onto the stick of Scott Hartnell. He just can't get a piece of it. And don't take away from the save that Tim Thomas. Now, Thomas having a few words with Simmons. Well, there's a penalty here. Yeah, I think there's going to be a penalty here to, to Branson. The puck must have gone out of play. It did. Straight off of a Panther. But what happened here to Scott Hartnell? Simmons with a beautiful feed. And then it looked like Gabranson that got his stick in the way of the shot, Coatsy, before he dumped it over the glass. Just before that. And Thomas made an excellent save prior to that on Simmons when Simmons came back across, tried to go to the, to the five hole, and si Thomas got those legs together very quickly. Pay a bit of a price sometimes when you're in front. Look at Thomas. Oh, with the whack on yeah. the back of Wayne Simmons' legs. And the refs didn't see that one. So, two-man advantage for the Flyers. 123 remaining on the Gomez penalty. Flyers need to get this puck. They have two more players available to get that puck, and they do. Here is Giroux getting it back to Le Cavalier. So they go with Le Cavalier on a point. Here's Giroux. Cavalier goes into the slot, puck back to Timonen. Now it's Le Cavalier, who loves that one-timer, as we know. The move to the middle, dump it down low. Board check to Le Cavalier for Giroux at the angle. Thomas is down. Giroux tried to tuck it in, could not. Nobody got open in front, and the Panthers able to clear the zone. What a good play by Tim Thomas, because Giroux looked like he was going to come out the other side of the net. Hartnell now mishandles at the Florida line and it's cleared all the way down. Valuable to that advantage time. Will tick off the clock. And the Pants is able to get a change and get some fresh legs on the ice. Here is for a check. To Giroux. Dropping it to Le Cavalier. They're set up again. 28 seconds on the two-man advantage. Giroux to Timonen for the shot. Save Thomas. Rebound all the way out to Timonen. Now it's Le Cavalier to Giroux for the one-timer. That one missed short side. Le Cavalier cracks it down. 15 seconds on the five-on-three. He'll wind and blast. Save Thomas and no rebound. Wow. How does he hold on to this? When you talk about a guy like Le Cavalier having the opportunity to get to just outside the hash mark, wind up and let it go, and Thomas somehow gets it. Yeah, it really is about rebound control when you're outnumbered five skaters to three. And Thomas with a remarkable job of cushioning this shot. I don't even think he saw it, did he, Coach? No, he never saw this. Hardnell does a great job. It's just a matter of being what we talk about Mason. Mason does, did it at the one end, and Thomas did it at the other, just being in the right spot and anticipating where that puck's coming. Off the draw, Campbell, a chance to clear, and it goes off straight into the Philadelphia bench. That brings the face off to center ice with only six seconds remaining on the first penalty. 39 years young, that's Tim Thomas. Herky-jerky style, and, and nothing looks like it ever repeats itself. Every save looks like it's just been invented, and Steve <laughs> Thomas finds a way to get it done. <laughs> like Flyers that. with the puck here, Reed getting it back out. One man back, now it's a five on four as Reed holds on to the puck. 
There's a point right at the line, strike. They'll deal it in along the wall, takes it back from Couturier, and now the shot, and that's deflected out of play. Panthers doing a good job with their box. In other words, what they're doing is that they're not really pressuring the puck. They're leaving the Flyers the opportunity to keep the puck to the outside, but they're, they're doing a nice job of staying between the shooter and the goalkeeper. You see that deflection there? Reed puts his head down, tries to take the shot, and it's deflected up into the mesh. Had a look at it. Another McDonald's power play payoff contestant. 24 seconds remaining. On the Gavranson penalty, Flyers win the draw. Voracek across for Timonen. Timo surveying as he moves in and then dropping it back to Voracek. Sends it toward the net, deflected but snared by Thomas, and he'll squeeze it. Well, the Panthers, as Coachy mentioned, great job on this penalty kill. They've got a couple of assistants here now that were classic PK guys. There is Brian Scrudland, won a couple of Stanley Cups, one in Montreal, won one in Dallas. Of course, Peter Horacek's the head coach, and that is the great defensive center, John Madden, that won three Stanley Cups with the New Jersey Devils. He was also one of the best penalty killers in the NHL when he played. Giroux on this draw, won it, but then the puck was played back to him, and he was tied up, couldn't really do much with that, and Weaver clears, and that will do it for the power play time. Big opportunity goes by the boards for the Flyers. This remains a scoreless game. Just over three minutes into the second period. Hartnell to Giroux. Giroux it across the line. The right wing feet Simmons. His shot deflected out of play by Campbell. Well, a quick reminder to college students and military personnel, you can get tickets to Flyers home games at a great rate. All you have to do is show your student or military ID at the Wells Fargo Center box office on the day of each Flyers game come and root for the orange and black be good to have you there as well penalty kills can sometimes be momentum turners against you or for you if you're the penalty killer and you get through it if you're the Panthers and against you if you had the power play the Flyers have to really come up with some pretty good shifts here to prevent that from happening fourth line on the ice right now especially five on three kills exactly get it out of the major penalty that puck did not hit the safety net. Wraparound try by Brigham. stopped at the side of that. Then Rosso couldn't come up with the puck. Digging away, Brigham on the other try. On the side, he scores! Sean Bergen on just kept poking away. Couldn't beat Mason at one side of the net. Goes to the other side and gives the Panthers a 1-0 lead. Well, Bergenheim has been a going concern since the first period, and he does great work here behind Steve Mason. The Flyers looked like they had everybody boxed out, and they did until the puck squirted loose to Bergenheim. Bergenheim did the right thing, but the Flyers didn't have anybody there, so it allowed him to come with that wraparound, and Mason really had no clue. He was trying to look to his left, figured that Bergenheim was still there. By the time he got back to the right, he just couldn't get to the post in time. Well, Bergenheim's been a scratch this year. He had not scored in 19 straight. Other shot attempt here by the Panthers. Weaver is blocked. And now Luke Shen for Philadelphia. Back to back to Gustafson. And Luke Stad will get to him. Muffin, but Gustafson protected the puck. They move it ahead. Simmons is checked. Flyers moving out to center. Cavalier gains the line and snaps the puck deep into the Florida zone. Now it's played along the wall. Simmons checked there, dives to try to keep it alive, ends up in the neutral zone. Say this, I wonder if that goal would have been scored with the old nets. I mean, the round parts that are on the ice are smaller now, and it's tough to come all the way around on the old nets on your backhand. Bergenheim got around there so quickly with the new smaller nets. Watch this. Wow. So much easier. We see so many more wraparound attempts now with the smaller I call them the hoops, the round part that's on the ice behind the goalie. That's a good point, Billy, because, you know, that those big hoops were supposed to be able to grab onto that puck and keep the puck as it swooped into the, the net. Mm -hmm. But now you don't need that anymore, and as a result, you're seeing what you just mentioned, a lot more wraparound. The assist went to Hayes and Olsen on that goal. Hayes first game as a Panther, you know, I, I should say uh, Olsen his first game as a Panther, now is his first point. For Florida. Jimmy Hayes also coming over in that trade for Versteeg. So both of them in on that goal. It was glad Brad Boys looking for an attempt in front, but couldn't get much on that shot. Mason took care of it. Gabranson from the point. His shot 
Batted away in front. The Panthers really asserting themselves now. Grants into Boys. Boys try to set her. It winds up in the slot, and Downey will get to Reed. Cross ice. Aiden Coburn will pull back with it. Bank it out of the reach of Reed. Reed is able to tip the puck. And get it with his glove. Couldn't get the puck past to Branson. And now Gilbert with it for Florida. And now it's sent all the way down. No icing. Braden Coburn has to play it. And the Panthers right to him. Gomez steals. Centers it in front. Bergen on shot. Save Mason. And the Flyers clear. Now you were sure right about the possible momentum from a penalty kill, and the Florida Panthers have grabbed it after the five on three PK. Mason's made a couple of good saves to keep this a one nothing game now. Strike. Before a check, try to go cross ice. Almost wound up in some difficulty, was able to find Coburn. Head off the stick of Giroux, and Gilbert goes back to retrieve. He's thumped on the wall, and the Flyers get the puck. Hartnell for Voracek, but he was checked. Boseman got it back to him for a turnaround shot that went wide, and then off the skate of Hartnell. Giroux gets to it. Giroux being chopped at in heavy traffic, and then his pass off of Voracek, and out to the neutral zone. Boseman has to hustle back. And a strike. Voracek tried a touch pass. That didn't work. And Uberto will send it back into the Philadelphia zone. Well, Grossman will get to strike again. Ahead. That one through Voracek. Well, no. They say he did deflect it. And so no icing. And here's Uberto. Uberto cross ice dish. Luke Shen plays the carom. And gets to Gustafson. Right back to Luke. Now the pass played to the Florida line, but Kulikov rejects that right back through center. Luke Chen will have to play with Fleischman on him. Gustafson trying to help him out. Now it's Couturier. To Ronaldo bats it in the air. Couturier has it going the other way. Being harassed from behind by Mathias is able to play it into the Florida zone. Thomas pushes it to Weaver, the veteran defenseman moving it out to center, and Jimmy Hayes just chopping that down the ice. This will be icing against Florida. Later tonight, former Eagle Brian Westbrook joins top Eagles analysts Ray Didinger and Brian Baldinger to look ahead to the Eagles matchup against the Cardinals. Watch Eagles Extra presented by Acme tonight at 11 on Comcast Sportsnet. Draw to the right of Tim Thomas. And the Panthers get control as Weaver will turn with it. And send it all the way down. They will not call this icing. As Mason will set it up for Coburn. Coburn will move that ahead. Another touch pass try by the Flyers that fails as Simmons couldn't get it through. Barkoff, though, stripped to the puck by Coburn. Now teaming in check behind the net. Bodies piling after it. The Panthers come up with it. Huberdeau back out. The Branson a shot. Mason a save with it. Panther right on top of him. Now Huberdeau to Boys for a shot. Another save by Mason. Mason holding the Flyers within one right here. Barkoff checked by Timonen. Simmons goes cross ice. Did get it out to center as Branson had to take it back to the neutral zone. And played back through center. Mason waiting for the puck. Get into the trapezoid. And now Coburn for the Cavalier. Turns it over, although he's able to get it back. So not officially a turnover. As his pass was knocked down. And it's teaming in through center ice, reaching forward for a check, could not come up with it. Panthers have it. Campbell will steer it back to Gilbert. Gilbert's pass tipped away in center, gotten back by Strike. And he'll wind it deep into the Florida zone. Thomas able to knock it down. Well, it seems like every second shift, Claude Giroux is out there with his line mates, Jake Voracek and Scott Hartnell. Flyers looking to get on the board here. Giroux's shot blocked. He He's able to swap the puck deeper into the zone. Then Gomez trying to clear. Giroux knocked it down. Gotch is checked. Hartnell to it. He's checked. Panthers the other way. Gomez to Bergenheim. That pass broken up by Grossman. And then Gilbert from the red line will fling in. And we approach the midpoint of regulation time in this one as the puck ahead to Hartnell. Across ice. He's got Ronaldo off the bench. Cutting to the slot. His shot is blocked. Laying out was Weaver. Outstanding shot blocker throughout his career. It was late in the way of that shot. Gustafson drills it back into the Florida zone. Now the shot for the point deflected wide by Couturier. He's back after the puck, as is Ronaldo. 
Ronaldo for Reed, and that one tipped away. Back out to the point. Luke Shen shot. That hit Weaver. Bounces to the corner. Ronaldo to it. Ronaldo for Couturier. Couturier centered, but no flyers there. Huberto will move the puck to the Ugstad. And from center ice, he'll pitch it into the Philadelphia zone. Mason back to Ronaldo, who's disrupted, but moves the puck around, and now Gustafson will move it to the neutral zone. Craig Berube trying to shake things up a little bit by putting Zach Ronaldo out there with the Couturier-Reed duo. And Steve Downey missed a ship, but when you're down a, a goal in a game where it's really tough to generate any offensive chances, you got to go for it. There's a puck in on Thomas. And he's able to cover up as Reed could not deflect it. We'll be back. Florida Panthers lead the Philadelphia Flyers one to nothing as we look at Jake Voracek. He's the subject of tonight's Geico quote as we were talking about the turnaround for the Philadelphia Flyers. And he said, well, the confidence level is very, very high right now. Everybody is being responsible defensively. We've heard an awful lot about that. And I think that's where we're playing so well right now because of better defense leads to better offense, guys. Yep, agree with that. The Flyers, I think, for most of this game, have had to flex their defensive muscles deep in their zone, and they've been good at doing that. Here's a scoring chance for the Flyers, but Thomas able to lay out in front of Voracek as he moved in front. And where is the puck? It's out of play, and some of the Panthers did not like the hit right after the whistle was blown. Scott Hartnell involved. Oh, Tim Peel's going to call a penalty here. Claude Drew's going over to have a little talk with him. Yeah, Giroux, the hit. They didn't like Whoa. that hit by Giroux. Well, they call it late. I mean, the, the Max Pacioretty glass, at least that's what we refer to it as. It's rounded near the benches so that a player can't run into the end of really sharp glass as Mac, Max Pacioretty did. A couple of years ago when Zdeno Chara from the Boston Bruins ugly hit so um, I still don't know why that was a rough is it rough or boarding either way it's two minutes and the Panthers finally get their first power play of the game Panthers move in across the line. Here's Boys down low, and the shot attempt by Barkov was denied. The puck is cleared all the way down. Well, being told unsportsmanlike conduct was the call. Hmm. We need a little more than that. Here is Campbell moving up. Ryan Campbell from the red line. Tried to get that one in. It went off a of body. Does skip deep to the zone. But time for Coburn, and he'll send it the length of the ice. Yeah, look at the Panthers. Blackluster numbers in the power play. NHL low eight power play goals. But they have some tools to be an effective power play. Fleischman checked. Puck gotten back by Uberdo. And he'll move it across to Campbell, who winds and fires. Glove save. Mason Whoa. makes the save and then lets Yugstad know he's not appreciated in that area. Got a little too close, and Steve Mason let him know. So the penalty to Giroux happened right in front of the benches. And here's Giroux coming back on the play. Now we don't know exactly when the whistle blew. Alexander Barkov, I don't know. Steve Mason's positioning again. Okay, the goalies are tied now, one <laughs> chop each. Exactly. That might get untied at some point. A little feisty. The two net minders. Here's Gomez. Outstanding passer. Gomez flips that one in front. Barkov back to Gomez. And now Gabranson comes in. Loved the first pass attempt. Gets it back. 36 seconds remaining on the power play. We get it back out to Gilbert. Gilbert to Gomez. Now Gabranson. To Gilbert. Hang it off for Barkov as they go around the horn with it. Perimeter passing thus far. Markov settling things. Out of poise for an 18-year-old. Down low. Upshaw was checked. Couldn't get it out in front, but Gilbert has it back. Cross ice. One-time shot. Branson fought off in front. Mason had to deal with Upshaw. And now a cross-checking penalty. 
So eight seconds remain on the Giroux Minor. Coburn will visit the sin bin. Well, this is as assertive as we've seen Steve Mason in a long time of protecting his territory. Been like Scotty Upshaw, even standing outside of the crease, said, uh uh, still too close. Move. Which he ultimately did. On yep. that last shot, there's the cross check by Braden Coburn. Yeah, and that shot was another great save by Mason as that pump came right from the point and it was cooking. But right now, Mason's a little uh, irritated with all the traffic he's had in front of him. That's obviously a frustration move there. I, I Big like face-off win by Hall with his team down two men. He wins the draw and clears the zone, and that takes care of the first minors. Aru is out of the box. Very difficult to win face-offs when you're down two men. Hall just took matters into his own hands right there. He's been so good on draws here over the last nine or ten games. Now it's a five on four. Fanning, and that was Campbell. Now a little backhander was denied by Mason. Luke Stat fighting off. Luke Shen, Shen staying with him. Luke Stat turns and got it back out to Gilbert, who winds and fires. Oh, save Mason again, flashing some more leather and hangs on. Wow, this is a positive PK for the Flyers right here. The first eight seconds was taken care of by Adam Hall's faceoff win. And Steve Mason has made two dandies with the right glove save on this kill. Well, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. There's just he and Mason. Gilbert's going to take that big drive, and boy, I'll tell you what, he got all of it. But <laughs> how many times have we seen that glove flash like that? Here is Kulikov dropping it off for Gomez. Gomez, side of the net. Now it's 115 on the five on four. Campbell back out Kulikov. Now the pass, the shot by Upshaw, save made. A diving attempt by Upshaw will get the puck to the corner. And Gomez after it there with. Luke Shen, and Matt Reed, and it's Reed who emerges with the puck. He gets it to Couturier, and Couturier rips it in from center ice. 52 seconds left on the Florida power play. There's a turnover. Reed nearly got to that. Bounced over his stick. Kulikov gets it back to Campbell. Brian Campbell across ice for Gomez. Ice his way in, and then flips for Barkov. Had a little trouble with it. Now that pass tipped out to center ice. Active stick by Couturier. Kulikov holding on as the Panthers make changes. And now the pass. Gotch holding on to the puck himself. Sets things up. Glancing across. And now it's Gotch with a wrist shot. Score! Changed direction in front. Might have been Bergen on him again. And the power play goal gives the Panthers a 2-0 lead. Well, the Flyers were only 16 seconds away from killing off the second of the two penalties. But this is a screen that Steve Mason, it, it had the tip. Steve Mason looked like his head changed directions. Yeah, I sure believe it went off Bergenheim. I think you're right. I think that's the only way it could have got by Mason. Matt, Mason went down and looked as if he had a real good sight line on it and all of a sudden he looks down and you can see that puck change a little bit well sean bergenheim in all likelihood has his second of the night he had no goals this season coming in now he's got two wayne simmons i think talking about that slash from tim thomas earlier in the game perhaps i don't know what else he would have been talking about right there he just wants to get something going here we'll see See what the Flyers do. They, they can't dig themselves a hole here, though, by taking a penalty, especially with Florida feeling pretty good about themselves right now. Well, they certainly are. This is only the second time, the second game all season. The Florida Panthers have a lead of more than one goal. They're looking to make it a three-goal lead here, but did not maneuver that puck in front, and it drifts out to the neutral zone. Yeah, playing their 25th game, Bill. Only in their game against Colorado did they lead by two goals or more. The only time until tonight. Gustafson will play that puck in from his side of the red line. And icing is called. Let's take a look at our Wells Fargo great check of the game. Scotty Hardnell is going to get a good piece of Tom Gilbert earlier in the hockey game. And this is what you call taking the man. First guy in, gets the body. Second guy gets the puck right there. 
Hartle does a nice job. You can see him not worry about the pocket, but he ended up with it because he did such a great job on moving in on Tom Gilbert. Panthers win the draw here. Kulikov is shot, blocked by Simmons. He bunts it forward, tries to get to it, but Kulikov able to rotate back. And they'll move it to Mike Weaver. He ticked down to five minutes remaining in this second period. Upshaw twist to get into the Philadelphia zone. Anderson back, has to deal with Barkov. He does, skates away. And then try to reverse it to Coburn. Coburn ahead off of Voracek, right across the ice in his own zone. Gustafson backhands to the neutral zone. And now Kulikov could not maneuver through. Voracek has it. Voracek in the middle for Hartnell. Couldn't get control of it, neither could Thomas. Giroux after it in the corner. Back for Hartnell, it bounces to the slot area, but the Panthers are all over that, and they'll move it ahead. Here's Bergen on, the former Islander, and Tampa Bay Lightning performer, lost the puck there. And Tiemann has it. And he'll bounce one to the Panthers zone, hoping for Borachek, but ends up going back the other way, and Wilbert set it off, Bergenheim stick it to the Philadelphia zone. Tiemann gets it to Coburn. Quickly for Giroux, and now Downey tips it in, but Gilbert able to gobble that up. Fires will change. Gilbert moves it ahead to Gotch. Gotch got an assist along with Gabranson on that second goal by Bergenheim at 13.59. Power play goal. They've been few and far between for the Panthers this year. And their ninth power play goal of the season, only their fourth in the last 11 games. But it has them up by two now. Fires trying to get to this loose puck as it went off of Gilbert. He's able to recover. Move it ahead to Gotch. Gotch to the Philadelphia line. Mason got his stick on it. Fires control it. First minute strike. And now Reed. Up the left wing with it. He'll just bump it into the Florida zone. Thomas is out of his net. He got it to Gabranson who threw it to the slot. Turnover. Strike with a putt. Pass across. Met for the Cavalier. Tipped away. And then swept out to center ice by Bukestad. Boy, they've had a lot of great opportunities having Thomas on the wrong end of that east-west play again just can't capitalize on it what a play by scotty upshaw wow the branson moving that one ahead boys will clear the zone three minutes remaining in this second period boys knocks down a pass moves it ahead to upshaw and scotty will take a hit from move shannon he put deeper into the philadelphia zone flyers move it right back out and all the way down weaver will turn and play this puck well, with success comes stability, and we've talked a lot about how Craig Berube, the head coach of the Flyers, has been able to keep his lines intact for seven, eight games. But this has line juggling written all over right now. Down two to nothing and really having a tough time generating offense. Simmons battling here as he's out with Giroux and Shen. And the puck rolled deep into the Florida zone. Raiden Shen checked. Giroux kept it alive and gets the puck back. Centers it! And Voracek hopping off the bench, fanned on the shot. Now Coburn to Voracek. Voracek to the high slot. Nice pass to Gustafson. Wrist shot is blocked by Weaver again. And twisted out to center by Bergenheim. Mike Weaver, not a big guy at all, but he has always been great at timing those block shots. Drew sends it off the stick of Voracek into the Florida zone. Gilbert is back. And now the puck up the wall off of Jimmy Hayes to the neutral zone. Luke Shen back. Weaver right back to the puck and sends it deep. Mason play it up the boards. That'll make its way to the neutral zone. Campbell right back in. And the Flyers have the puck again. Luke Shen. At the Downey. Downey lifting that one off a glove now. And it bounces to Thomas. He's going to cover up with Downey nearby. 126 to go in the second. Panthers lead the Flyers by the score of two to nothing. And let's take a look at our Independence Blue Cross fearless play of the game. And it's gonna come earlier in the game when Chris Barnes, the tough guy for the Florida Panthers, is gonna be challenged by Jay Rosehill. And Rosehill, once again, as we have witnessed so many times this year, does a spectacular job handling Barnes. Oh yeah, Barnes came back with a couple of his own, but I'll give the nod there to Mr. Rosehill for that one. Great audio there. You could hear the grunts and the groans of that fight. Off the draw here, the Flyers get the puck to Reed and didn't get all that shot fluttered into the glove of Thomas, who made the grab. Well, if you haven't already done it, it's time to get flyered up for the holidays at the Fan Zone, powered by Reebok. Get this, 
Savings up to 30% off starting at 6 a.m. on Black Friday. And for complete Black Friday sale details, all you have to do is visit PhiladelphiaFlyers.com slash Black Friday. Uh, that should be a great morning, afternoon, and night at the Wells Fargo Center with hockey and basketball. And the sale, of course, starting early on in the day and exclusive stuff available right there on Black Friday. One minute remaining here in this second period. Flyers down two to the Panthers. A frustrating night thus far for the Flyers. Couturier sidesteps a check, goes after the buck. John Couturier turning with it. Couturier looking, got it back to Downey. Downey carries it all the way around behind the net and then plays it to Reed. Reed back out to Tiemann and just kept that in the zone. But sailed the shot wide and Upshaw a chance to clear and he will. That one lands right at the feet of Barkov in center. And he's able to backhand into the Philadelphia zone. Even in for Couturier, forced by Boys. Coburn is there to backhand to the neutral zone through Gabranson. He's able to recover. And then from the red line, Barkov will send it back in. Barkov does not play like an 18-year-old. He's got some poise for a guy who turned 18 just before the season started. You saw that number on him. He's the first or the youngest player to score his first goal. Since 1944, when Ted Kennedy, I mean, uh, Peter Kennedy did it. Not out of place, that's for sure, Coatsy. This is something new for Peter Horacek and the Panthers. They're used to being behind, as you can see, minus 12 in the first, minus 15 in the second. And the good news for Horacek, the troubling news for the Flyers, they're a good third period team. So they're third or fourth in the league in third period goals, yep, aren't they? Last third, time yep. I checked, tied, tied for, for third. third. So Mason handles that last offering. The Flyers will try to put a dent in some of those numbers for the Panthers and pull off a come from behind win. They're going to have to do that for the third time this year. Only the third time. The Panthers lead through 40 minutes of play. It's 2-0 to the West. What a player he is. That fire still burns as hot inside Marty St. Louis with his age and his size that everybody said couldn't make it in the NHL. Pittsburgh-Boston game is now tied as James Neal has scored twice. Craig Berube's team trailing by more than one goal after the second period for only the second time this year. The other one, that Washington game at home. So this is kind of uncharted territory for the Flyers because they're not used to it. But they should have all been talking to one another and talking to themselves in the locker room between periods about changing the way they're playing because they haven't put Florida back on their heels in their own end but a couple of times in this entire game and we were talking about it during the intermission that's where Florida's most vulnerable they're prone to coughing pucks up if you pressure them deep in their zone one of the big turnarounds for the Flyers during their improved play this year has been their third period performance they're gonna need a good strong third period here tonight for sure but They've been outscoring teams with regularity over the last seven or eight games in the third period. And they're going to look to do the same here tonight against a Panthers team that we've already told you is usually a strong third period club. Underway as Thomas Fleischman gets the puck into the Philadelphia zone. Quick shot. And it's grabbed by Mason. He'll hang right on to it just six seconds in. I'm going to go back to what you had mentioned about Billy, about the fact that the Flyers have really not done a good job of pressuring the Florida Panthers' defense. There's been a lot of one and outs and not a lot of real great opportunities on Thomas outside of on the power play. So that's got to change for them to be successful in this period. Scramble for the puck in the Philadelphia zone. Comes free. Uberdo gets it back out. Gilbert shot. And that one denied by Mason with some traffic around him. It's the Panthers try to apply the early period pressure. Ward check tumbles to the ice, as does Uberdo. And it's played by Coburn. Upper right-hand corner of your screen of those scores. Boston has jumped back on top of Pittsburgh. Columbus handing it to Toronto in Toronto. That won't go over well in T.O. And the Devils trailing Winnipeg in New Jersey. There is a dump in by Giroux. Down he gets the puck for Reed. Back around behind, but that's cut off by Gilbert. Had the boys, and he bounces it to the neutral zone. Grossman plays it out of the skates, but then at the right two boys, and he'll... Send it into the Philadelphia zone. Upshaw in on Grossman. Got the puck to Barkov. Centering it. Ricochets around off the side of the net. And now it's Barkov again to it. They get it behind the net to Boys. Boys hit the referee with his pass. A break for the Flyers. And now Grossman on the back end. Moves it ahead to Downey. Touch pass to Couturier. Couturier right back to Downey. 
And he had a little trouble handling it. Now he'll snap it around for Reed. Back out Gustafson. Gustafson waiting and then a risk shot. And Thomas denied that one. And Turi gets hit up oh. high right in front. He's shaken up. Katuri very slow going to the Philadelphia bench. He got hit high right in front of the referee. No call. Now here's Bergenheim backhanding to the slot. Flyers have it. And here's the outlet to Downey. Downey, they say, got to the red line. Went in and go anyhow. Thomas to save. And now the puck ahead to Gomez. Gomez, right wing feed for Gotch. Gotch all the way across. There's Kulikov. Kulikov centering off sticks. Shot goes wide. As unable to hit the net was Gotch. Downey trying to get to this puck in center. Could not. Bergenheim beat him to it. And we'll play it around for Weaver and ahead to Gotch. Flyers changing his Gotch through center with lots of room. Now they converge and they'll just dump it deeper to the Philadelphia zone. Shen got it to Coburn. And now Simmons backhands in and Adam Hall chasing after it with Gilbert. Gilbert cut in front of him. And got the puck to Jimmy Hayes, the former Blackhawk in the middle for Campbell. Campbell back to Hayes, charging up the right wing. Quick shot, batted away by Mason. Shen couldn't come up with it. Tiemannen does. Tiemannen moving it ahead to Simmons. Wayne Simmons gets the line and flutters one in. Thomas will set that up for Gilbert. He turns it over to Simmons. Simmons knocking it down in the corner. Takes a look around. Tried to spin it to the middle. It was knocked down by Matthias. Out to the neutral zone. Simmons has it there. Good pace here early in this third period. Gilbert cross for Grossman. Out of Hall. Dips it into the Florida zone. Three minutes into this third period. Gilbert forced. Flyers get the puck. Here's Ronaldo sending it through the slot. Off the bench, Giroux. Puts it back to Grossman. A wrist shot that bounces to Giroux. Now to Ronaldo for a shot. Glove save, Thomas. And no further play. That all started with just jumping and chasing. And that's what the Flyers have to get back to. Sean Couturier on his last shift. Looked like it was an accidental collision. He turned around, watched Couturier bottom of the screen. Oh, Eric Gabranson might have seen him. But Gabranson didn't do anything to get out of the way, and it looked like Gabranson's shoulder caught Couturier in the chin, went off slowly. Looks like he's okay on the bench. Remember, Sean took a hit to his head in a recent game when he was playing defensive hockey. Here's Hartnell chopping away at this puck. It's uh, Bobby Ryan cutting to the net. And his shoulder caught Couturier's head, and Sean went down the alleyway toward the locker room. Here's a big shot, and Giroux unable to beat Thomas, who had the glove ready. Thomas denying Giroux right there as the Flyers try to climb to within one. Thomas's reads are so good. Watch what he does on this play. His skates are outside the paint, so Claude Giroux didn't really have much of an angle. Part of what a goaltender has to do is read the shooter's options what a great anticipation there by thomas that's why he has been so good for so long not the biggest guy in the world but he gets himself in the right position and boy quick hands and quick feet kulikov deep into the philadelphia zone He's fouled there by the flyers then dumped it back to the corner brad boys gets there boys maneuvering turning it off the side and then right out in front and Gustafson was there. Moving the puck to Reed. Reed could not get it past Weaver. Bounces back into the neutral zone. And Downey will drop it back to Shen. And now ahead off the stick of Katuri, But right back to Boys. Sits in center ice. And it's rescued by Gustafson. You come your way from the bb &T Center in Sunrise, Florida. We're on Comcast Sportsnet along with our great crew. First game of uh, heavy stretch of road play for the Flyers. They need to come from behind in order to get points. Bergenheim knocks down a Philadelphia pass. Gotch behind the net. And so Gotch dropping it. Gomez back to Gotch, who got a step but then lost control. Now he'll get it back. Gomez to Bergenheim. Bergenheim, a soft shot with wide. Gotch behind the net. Flyers a bit disjointed defensively here. Gomez back out. Gilbert shot. Deflected by Gotch. Went off the glass. I don't know if Mason got a piece. Now it's Gilbert. Sends it around behind the net. Gotch holding on to it. Turning. Gustafson there to greet him and move the puck ahead. Braden Chen tipped it. Downey and Chen got their signals crossed. Couldn't get it out. Here's Bergenheim to the slot. The pass and fanning on the shot of Bugstad. Downey then the check on him, but Downey could not clear again. It's kept in by Fleischman. Downey a third try and he gets this one to the Lecavier. And Vinny could not get the puck into the floor of his own. Uberdo. 
Nice work in traffic, but then he's checked, and the puck drifts to team in it. Well, I give Florida a lot of credit. They've got a wall up at their blue line. Here comes Simmons moving in. The pass attempt broken up by Olsen, who then finishes Simmons with a shoulder check. Hartnell diving to keep that puck alive. It bounces out in front of him. Olsen almost in. Perhaps it was in. Thomas reaching back to try to keep that up. Now Simmons and Olsen are face-to-face. -face. Also have Hartnell involved. His helmet's been ripped off. And another skirmish. Huberto in there. Weishman. Boy, that puck came dangerously close to the goal line as Thomas was having trouble corralling it. It dropped in front of Thomas, and he didn't know it was there. He just saw it before Hartnell and Simmons got there to poke away at it. The Flyers finally get possession of a puck deep in Florida's zone, but it went off Olsen, and then Thomas saw it just as Hartnell was getting there. Well, he had it covered in such a way. We're going to take a look at the overhead, see if you can see the puck. Watch, the glove will come right across the top of the puck. So you really have no idea whether that puck did cross the goal line or not. Scotty Hardwell gave a little whack as he was coming around the pipe on the glove. Yeah, Thomas seemed to hold that one out the whole way. Uh, for the delay here, of course, they're always watching up in the situation room. Checking anything that's around that goal line or goal in that area. No penalties here. That's wow. interesting. No harm, no foul, I guess. I like it, but it's interesting. I like it also. Let him play. Yep. Jake Boric check with the puck for Philadelphia. Got it back out. Coburn. Coburn will dish to Tiemannen. Tiemannen with a pass to Shen for a shot. Didn't get all of it. Thomas took care of it. Down in front is Giroux as he got buried, and he is very slow getting back up to his skates. There will be a penalty here. Well, we mention them often because Santa Sacks really are the ultimate Flyers gift pack and are on sale now. So get Flyers fans what they really want with Flyers and Phantoms tickets, an autographed puck or stick, a Flyers calendar and more. Call 1-800-298-4200. Well, Drew's going to be able to knock Kulikov off, but Kulikov gets a little bit too Whoa. aggressive in the retaliation. Last guy always gets caught right there. You saw Kulikov absolutely just grab Drew and throw him to the ice. So a big opportunity here for Philadelphia on the power play. Chance to get within one. It's their fourth mad advantage of the game. Voracek weaving his way to the neutral zone and then a pass that winds up back in center ice. They have had seven shots with their first three power plays. Timonen getting it in, but Thomas is able to stop this one, turn and hand it off to Campbell. He's overtaken by Simmons. The Flyers have the puck. Hartnell. They'll play that back toward the line. Now Voracek. Simmons is in front. Double screen is set up as Timonen. Moves the puck to Giroux. Giroux holding on, looks at Hartnell in the slot, goes back to Timonen. Now Giroux again. Takes the shot. That one went off of Simmons wide. Now back out. Timonen keeps it in. Quick shot deflected, but went wide or high. Bora check. Around behind. Hartnell. And he's checked and unable to clear with the Panthers. Kept in by Timonen. The pass is to Giroux. Giroux looking. Now to Hartnell for the shot. Same rebound. Simmons, he scores! Wayne Simmons pumps home the rebound. He remains red hot. His fourth goal in the last five games. Power play tally. It is now 2-1 as Simmons scores for a case of Tasty Cake. Boy, that's how you do it. The Panthers had taken away the pitch and catch between Giroux and Timonen. And at some point, somebody's got to be open. It was Scott Hartnell and Giroux found him with Wayne Simmons finishing this off. Right there, you see Scotty Hartnell get right into the middle of the box. So the box can't contract. So as soon as Hartnell gets that opportunity inside the box, he takes the shot. Wayne Simmons parked right outside the post. That's where you want to be. You don't want to be too tight. And he had an opportunity to be able to get that rebound. Seventh straight game in which the Flyers' power play has registered a goal. This one gets them right back in this game. This will be icing against Florida. So an offensive zone draw coming up for Philadelphia. Hartnell and Giroux get the helpers on Simmons' fifth of the year, fourth in the last five games, his third power play tally of the year. But now the Flyers have to push and push hard. Still said they have to get pucks in deep. 
and play where the Florida Panthers are at their worst, which is deep behind the goal line. Flyers get the puck here. Reed getting it out to Grossman for a shot wide. Couturier trying to center. Now he's still got it. Fires save Thomas at the side of the net. Downey and Olsen shove. Flyers now feeling it. Wayne Simmons with a rebound that he pumped home. And the Flyers now within one. There's your score. 12 28 to play in the third. Scott Hartnell assisting on. Wayne Simmons goal. The Flyers and a battle back here in South Florida. Cavier back out with his usual line mates here. I expect Berube had juggled things up earlier in the game trying to get the Flyers offense going. Panthers come up with a puck off this draw. Fleischman from the red line. Dumping it in, it'll bounce behind the net. Colvin wins the race, but then did not get the puck past Fleischman. And it bounces free to Bukestad, who tried to set her, blocked by Tiemannen. Fleischman getting it back to Gilbert for a shot. Save Mason. He had to deal with some traffic around him, but maintain focus on the puck. Still have to win battles in your end, though, to get the puck down into the other end, so the Flyers need to continue to dig in everywhere. I don't think it's any secret every time you see that puck going towards the net, the Panthers are trying to get in front of Mason, cause as much problem, many problems as they can for Mason. It was Huberto on that last shot. Gomez gets some space in the offensive zone. Twists it out in front, it ends up hopping up a stick in the air and then out to the neutral zone. Adam Hall finds it, and he'll shovel it deep into the Florida zone. Boy, check. And Drew out there trying to get to it, but the Panthers get it, move it effectively to Gomez. Gomez to Campbell, loves to join the rush, and does so right here. Drew loses his stick, trying to check in, the puck comes out in front, ricochets into the slot, and now the other way, Voracek, trying to get the legs moving. Voracek, get across the line. Voracek, the pass, Drew, the shot, and the save made by Thomas. Boy, that's the right idea when you've got Scott Hartnell heading to the net. Scott Gomez showed me more speed than I thought he had to cut Voracek off, so Jake just had to drop it to Giroux. And again, Tim Thomas has been pretty darn good on rebound control. Boy, I love that. You see Hartnell go to the net. That's a three on two. So Voracek's going to look for the trailer. The trailer was Giroux. It was open for just enough for him to be able to get that shot off. Big hit by Reed. Knocks Upshaw down. Allows the Flyers to get the puck. And there's Couturier. Shrugs off a check and then fires. And Thomas ready for that one. Goes to his knees to make the save. And again, no rebound. Let's take a look at our Hyundai save of the game. And it was Steve Mason. As we had talked about Ryan Campbell with a big shot for the point. Look at that right there. And then right here is where Mason finally just got a little too fed up. As Bukestad is right in front of him. He gives him a little shot. But we get a little uh, activity right in front of Steve Mason. But the save on Campbell, our Hyundai save of the game. Bouncing puck in on Mason. Had trouble with it. Rebound Barkov. Mason still trying to corral that. And finally the whistle stopping play. It's one of those bouncing pucks in from the neutral zone. And it can give a goaltender fits. Looked like it did to Steve Mason there. It's really uncharacteristic of Mason to put this rebound back. But again, Florida coming through the neutral zone without any kind of difficulty at all. They actually backed that defense up for the Flyers, allowing them to keep dropping back and getting that blue line, Billy. Yeah, you can, you can kind of tell when the Flyers aren't on top of their game. And Craig Berube never wants to see an opponent come through the neutral zone without being pressured. And Florida has been able to do that quite a bit tonight. There's Hall. Nudging it out to the neutral zone. Gilbert got it back. Top fly to the Philadelphia zone. Team it in for Giroux. He's got some room to work with. On the red line, bounces one. Well, tried to bounce one to Thomas. Got a little too much air underneath it. And Thomas came way out of his crease to glove it before it hit the ice. And he'll hang on. Well, the good news from a flyer standpoint is that they have not brought their A game to Florida. I don't think anybody would argue that. And they're one shot away from tying this here with half of the third period left to play so they've been able to bend without breaking the Flyers have not been bad defensively they just haven't done the things that they need to do to generate offense 
Flyers get to the puck here. Hartnell drops it off for Timonen as he comes in from the point. Circles the net. Looked in front. Nothing there. So he'll drop it back into the corner. Now Voracek cycles out. His pass across ice. Coburn. Coburn tried to maneuver it in front. Didn't get there. Voracek a shot. Save Thomas again. Able to control. Hartnell standing right in front of him. But Thomas not only the save, but as Coach he's mentioned a couple times, no rebound at all. And a chunk of human Velcro in this one, and the puck has had the other strip of Velcro on it. I mean, it's really remarkable. Even with screens and pucks that he hasn't seen, they haven't bounced anywhere. And I like Jake taking that shot there. I mean, he's right against the wall. He knows that he's got a lot of things happening. He figures, I'll just really try to catch Thomas, but he didn't. The Branson clears the zone off the draw. Luke Shen back to get it. His pass ahead for Cavalier. He swings it over at the Florida line. Olsen to Upshaw and right back into the Philadelphia zone. Gustafson checked by Barkov. Protected the puck, moved it along, and the Flyers will look to move it ahead. Shen out of the reach of Simmons. Olsen banks it back through center off the skate of Luke Shen, and then Boy is able to flick into the Philadelphia zone. We pass the midpoint of the third period. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Luke Shen lost control. Chris Barch after it. Checked by Gustafson. Pop three to the corner, and Barch will get it back out to Weaver, who didn't get much. In fact, broke his stick on that shot attempt, and the Flyers clear the zone. Thomas out of his net. Weaver has a new stick. Lays it across to Kulikov. The rink-wide feed. Now it's Matthias. He waits. Back across Kulikov. Where are the shot? And that hit something in front. Heavy traffic around Mason there. The Flyers do clear the zone. Hall could not get control. It's Campbell who does. And he played it out into center. Hall's on it there. And he'll play it in. The fourth line out for Philadelphia. The Panthers changing. They'll get their fourth line off the ice. Ozil, they hit on Uberdo. And now it's Campbell and Uberdo. Takes the hit from Manolo to move the puck back. It takes a return feed, but could not get around Reed, who picks his pocket, but across the line, lines and fires off the stick of Campbell and out of play. 8.49 remaining in the third, a one-goal hockey game. Greg Berube settling in as we thank the guys back in Philadelphia. Berube hoping his team can continue the comeback here. They're down two. They're now within one. Coburn a shot right off the draw. It hit a skate and then got caught up in traffic in the circle. And Upshaw will just lift one to the neutral zone, and then lands right in front of Boys. He'll pop it deeper into the Philadelphia zone, and now Coburn for Timonen. And all the Timonen. Back for Coburn. Set it off the stick. It bounces through to Reed. Reed turns with it. Back out in front. And disrupted was Kateri. Shot down. He's saving. And then Reed unable to make contact with the airborne puck. Kateri behind the net. Got his stick on it. It bounces to the corner. Downey riding... With Branson in the puck to Katuri for shot, and Thomas just got enough of it. Falling down his lead in center now, and so boys will move through the right wing feed for Barkov. And he is then sealed off by Timon and Katuri trying to get the puck. Timon then winds up with it and is tripped. But the Panthers get to it and play carries on as Campbell will move it to Gott for a shot that went wide, bounced out to Bergenheim, and he fired wide short side to carry him all the way out to Gomez. Who shovels it back in. Bergenheim there. He has both goals for the Panthers. Gets the puck to Gotch. He's taken down. And it's teaming in. And the pass and the Flyers will move up. Scott Hartnell did not get to the red line, but fires it on goal to no ice. And he's after it along the wall. It bounces back out. Strike kept it in, but right to Campbell, and he'll bank it to the neutral zone. Grossman flings right back in. 7-18 in the clock. Puck to Hartnell. Hartnell. Fired it through the slot. Voracek fighting off Gilbert. Taken down by Gilbert. One hands it. And Hartnell could not do much with that. Matthias checked by Voracek and Hartnell, but was able to clear. Here's strike. Bourgeois waits. And just pitches it down along the wall. Hartnell. The strike. Up forward. It rolls to the corner. Hartnell doing the hard work along the wall here. He kept it alive, but Campbell races to the puck. And man, they call Supi will play it off the glass and all the way down. Big heavy hit by the postman on Jimmy Hayes, but the puck to Matthias. Postman able to cut off his pass. 
Big Stad checked him from behind, but Swipe there to pick up the puck for Philadelphia. Now they look to maneuver up. The Flyers to make a change there. Panthers then fail to get the puck into the Philadelphia zone. Simmons takes it, gets it into the corner zone from the angles. Broken up by Weaver, and now Gulikov moves the other way with it to Boys. Boys left wing dish for Upshaw. Upshaw takes the hit from Luke Shen and plays it around to the other side of the ice. Scramble on there. Luke Shen back. Moves it to Simmons. Simmons to Le Cavalier. Right back to Simmons, barreling up the right wing. And a shot off the stick and out of play. Still 2 on Florida here in the third. Knights Flyers Panthers game was brought to you by Toyota. See where Toyota takes you. Test drive one at your Toyota dealer. Toyota, let's go places. By Bud Light, it's the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. And by Wells Fargo. When you're considering buying your first home, Wells Fargo is with you. Wells Fargo, together we go far. Florida Panthers nursing a 2-1 lead over the Flyers. 5.46 to play in the third. And they win the defensive zone draw to the Panthers. Olsen with it. It's to Goodranson. Long for Bergen. Nice pass to Gotch. Gotch. The Philadelphia line is past tips out there for a moment. He gets back to it. Wins some room. The shot. Save Mason with traffic around him and out. Simmons the other way waiting for help as he moves deliberately through center. Then he'll just play it to himself on the boards. The angle shot is snared by Thomas and he'll hang on. Let's take a look at our Toyota turning point and it's going to be the second goal for Bergenheim, who's going to be right to the side of the net. Here comes the shot, and Bergenheim's going to get a piece of this. Somehow it just flips by Mason. Gotch is going to pick up a helper here as the Florida Panthers take a 2-0 lead right there on Serge Bergenheim's second goal of the game, and that is our Toyota turning point of tonight's game. Here's Uberdo into the Philadelphia zone. Strike. Austin Edge, Eugstad picks up the puck, tries the other side, centered it off the side of the net, back out in front. Hartnell played it out of harm's way, back to straight. Five minutes remaining for the Flyers to try to equalize or better. For a check. There's that one in, Hartnell will chase with Gilbert, and Hartnell gets it. Centered it out in front, the backhander save, Thomas Evan for a check. Great setup by Hartnell. And Thomas had an answer. There's Hartnell muscling the puck in front, and he was stopped at the side of the cage. As it was knocked down, and then the puck cleared by Campbell. That's going to roll right in on Mason, and he's even going to have to cover up with Fleischman in the vicinity. Or if it hadn't been rolling, Steve Mason no doubt would have put that back in play. But Tim Thomas has been one difficult goaltender to get anything on, even oh. when shots have surprised him. He not only makes the save, but he clears it here <laughs> out of midair. How about that? I mean, how he never took his head off the puck. He had a great sight line on it. Good Branson will fire this one around in the Philadelphia zone. Couturier checked along the wall. The puck will bounce back the other way. Oh, referee hit it. Gustafson didn't get it. Now Upshaw turns with a puck. To good Branson for a shot. Save and falls and goes in. And Branson had gone 100 games without a goal if it's his tally. And Craig Maruby's fire is now down two. Boy, Eric Gustafson sure went to Tim Peel right away after this goal was scored because Tim Peel kept the Flyers from getting the puck out of the zone. Good Branson's with the shot. Now, whether it hits Shen or not, it, or hit Mason, but you could see that that puck came right up into the air. And Mason had no clue where it was when it fell. It fell and moved across the goal line. Really tough to see who it hit, or if it just hit Mason. Eric Branson had played 128 NHL games, had scored but two goals, none in the last 100 that he had played. We'll see if he gets credit for it. I don't think it touched the Florida player in front. I don't think it did either. 
And the Pats is looking for more now. Bergen and I will drop it back to Campbell. He didn't get much on that shot. Broke his stick. In fact, Flyers trying to move back. Here's Simmons up the right wing. Simmons in the middle. The Cowboy in the pass. The shots. Another huge save by Thomas Shen. And the Panthers find the puck and move it to Gomez. And Tim Thomas is doing it to the Flyers again. He is the best active goals against average against the Flyers. And he has made 34 saves on 35 shots here tonight. Grossman moving in. And through the slot, Hartnell. For Giroux, back to Hartnell. Now it's the captain. Changing direction in front for it. Check that shot was blocked. And a strike by the center. Went out the body. Bounce to the board. Check for another shot. It went out the body right through the slot area. Strike hustles to it. The centering pass, though, tipped. They do keep it in the zone. It'll be Voracek in the corner. Turning it in front, but it went off the skate of Gabranson. And now bounces to Bukestad, and he'll just charge up with it. Moves down to the Philadelphia line, waits, moves to the slot, holds, fires, save Mason. Matthias. Surrounded by Flyers, but occupied the puck for a while. Taken out of there by Gustafson, ahead to Voracek. He's going to shovel one across ice. Reed. That's there. Gilbert gets to him. And now boys will just swing it out to the neutral zone. 2.15 remaining. Flyers need two now to equalize things. They've had their chances. Gilbert to Campbell. Who's that ahead? Coburn out in the way of it. Barkoff flipped it out to the neutral zone. Boys there. And he'll just chop it into the Philadelphia zone. Panthers will change. Gustafson to Couturier racing through center. There goes Mason to the bench. Couturier's shot is blocked. Bounces to Reed. His shot was blocked. Extra attacker on for the Flyers. Gotch trying to clear the zone, and he will. Right to Voracek, who is hanging back, and now he'll wind it deep into the Florida zone. The Branson steers it around. Downey takes a look. Back behind the net off. Couturier's stick surging to it is Shen. Back behind the net. Now Couturier for Downey. Downey in front off the stick and then through Shen. Back out to Timonen who turns back and then forward. Holds and just floats one that Thomas will glove and hang on to. We'll check out our Mazda top shelf performers in this one. For the Flyers, Wayne Simmons has had five shots. Kimo Timonen leads the way in ice time. Steve Mason has stopped 28 to 31, but Sean Bergenheim, sixth career two-goal game. Dylan Olson an assist in his season debut, and Tim Thomas really has been the difference maker for the Florida Panthers in this hockey game. So the faceoff here to the right of Tim Thomas. And Claude Giroux is going to try to, well, he gave way actually to Vinny LeCavalier, and now Giroux has it. So a good win by LeCavalier. Well, he scrum for it behind the net. It pops free. Simmons didn't get his stick on it. To the point. Giroux fires one deflected one off glass behind the net. Now they center it again. It goes all the way through, back out to strike, cross ice. Big shot, Giroux, and that one winds up out of play. Well, let's take a look at our Bud Light player of the game. And boy, what a difference maker this guy's been in this one. Right now, shots on net. 37 to 31. Tim Thomas has been absolutely spectacular. The Tim Thomas we saw for so many years with the Boston Bruins. Post to post, he's been technically sound. He's been acrobatic. He's used every piece of equipment to make outstanding saves throughout this one, especially here in the third period and obviously in the five-on-three situation earlier in the hockey game. Flyers win the draw. Giroux backhand to get across ice. Went off a stick. Played ahead. Bergenheim second try, third try. Got it out to center. Gomez. Into the puck by Giroux. And it's moved ahead by Hartnell, but Gabras is right there. Now Giroux will play it back around behind. Just 30 seconds remaining right now. Gabranson, given time, has time. Finds Bergenheim looking for the hat trick, but his shot went off. 
of strike. They hustle back. Bergenheim still looking for it, but the Flyers are there. And they have check. They speed to center. Get it to Hartnell. Hartnell going wide. Takes the shot. Save Thomas. Rebound back out to Giroux. Nine seconds. Giroux in front. Off of sticks and skates. Back out. Gomez able to get to center ice. Time runs out on the Flyers here. And for the first time in quite a while, the Flyers have lost in regulation time their streak of seven consecutive games. Getting at least a point is over. Tim Thomas with his 14th career win against the Flyers. He was tremendous, stopping 37 shots. Bergen I took care of the offense. Yeah, all the offensive support Tim Thomas needed came from number 20. The Flyers really started to push in the third period. But by then, the Florida Panthers were not willing to let them push them back out of the rink or out of the lead in this hockey game. So full marks to the Florida Panthers. I mean, you can look at it from their side and say they played a complete game, and I think that would be accurate. Their new coach, Peter Horacek, should be really happy, especially with the performance of Tim Thomas. So the Flyers will move on to Tampa. Take on the other team from the state of Florida. On Wednesday night, our coverage begins with the pregame show at 7 o'clock. Vidi LeCavier makes his return to Tampa. Here tonight, Flyers try to get this stretch of road hockey underway on a successful note. The Panthers and Tim Thomas, John Bergenheim had other ideas. For the entire crew, as well as my partners, Bill Clement and Steve Coates, I'm Jim Jackson. Good night from Sunrise, Florida. Stay tuned now for Flyers Post Game Live, presented by McDonald's.